Friends, uh, welcome to our channel where we are presenting lessons in mathematics. Okay, so the aim or the reason why we have prepared this video for you is to guide you uh, on how you are supposed to nav uh, navigate through this uh, channel and uh, as well as uh, uh, preparing you for the exams that are coming in uh, August unless otherwise. Okay, so the syllabus that we are, we are presenting is the all-level mathematics syllabus from grades 10 to 12. Okay, so now, for you to be able to, to sit for these exams, you need to do all the topics, alright? So if you are someone who is um, not going to school, you are not in class, we are here to, to outline the procedure, alright? How you are supposed to start and up to the to the to the end, okay? But if you are someone who is in class, you are, you are, you are learning. You can still utilize this for uh, this um, channel to to revise, okay? So now, what you are saying is, if you are not in class, you are not in school. What is it that you need to know? You need to know the topics that are there. We have who? topics for grade ten, topics for eleven and twelve. For 10, these are the topics that we have here, all right? These are the topics that we, we have here, all right? Sets, index notation, algebra, matrices, similarity and congruence, you have travel graphs, social and commercial arithmetic, bearings, symmetry, then you have computers, okay? And the calculators there. Take note, this is computers and calculators. Okay, so once you're done with that, you go to 11. Uh, in 11, we have the following topics. So you have approximation, sequence and series, coordinate geometry, relations and functions, quadratic functions, quadratic equations, variation, uh, circle theorem, construction and loci. Then we have trigonometry, mensulation, probability, as well as statistics. Once you've covered this, it means you have covered uh, fully all the grade 11 topics. Then we go to grade 12. We have gra uh, graphs of functions, which we are calling cubic functions, especially I think in our videos, what is reflecting, what is showing is cubic functions, right? Then we go to linear programming, travel graphs, um, vectors in two dimensions, geometrical transformation, heavy geometry, and calculus. This is what you need to cover for you to be able to, to see it for these exams, okay? Those topics should be covered conclusively, okay? So now, what we are going to do is to help someone who is not in class as to how they are supposed to start. Where do you start from when you're following these uh, 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 videos or when studying? Where do you start from, okay? We are saying the first thing that you need to deal with is integers. I think you have observed that um, on these uh, topics that have listed here from grade 10 to 12, integers is not appearing anywhere. But as experts who have uh, analyzed these exams and realized that this is a to get at you through integers. So if you do not have a very uh, solid foundation of integers, then you have a challenge. That is why we have put integers deliberate and there are videos on integers. Okay? Then from there, the second one should be algebra, followed by matrices, then index notation, sets, similarity and congruence, travel graphs. Now, for travel graphs, what we have decided to do is, uh, we have combined, you realize that in grade 12, we have got travel graphs. In grade 10, we have got travel graphs. So, our videos, on travel graphs have been structured in a manner that we have taken into a, a consideration all the concepts that you must cover at grade 10 and 12. So, with the travel graphs, we are safe. Alright, we are safe in our hands. Okay. Then you go to bearings. From bearings, you deal with symmetry. After that, deal with computers and calculators. Then you go to social and commercial arithmetic, followed by coordinate geometry. Then you deal with the approximation. Okay? 
the, uh, the next topic or topic number 14 is relations and functions. Then you go to sequence and series, quadratic equations, quadratic functions, cubic functions or graphs of functions. Then we go to variations, uh, circle theorems, construction and the loci or locus, mensulation, earth geometry, probability, then you go to statistics. Okay, I think we are not yet done. We have some more topics. So, the next topic is trigonometry. Then you go to linear programming. Calculus, you go to transformation and end with the vectors in two dimensions. So, we are saying, if you are in class, you can choose the order in which you are going to tackle because you are using uh, these videos for revisions. But if you are not in class, you do not have any tutor. Don't be worried. We are here to put you in a position where you are confident. All right. So follow these um, topics in the manner uh, we have uh, listed them or the way we have outlined them. Okay. Then the next thing that uh, I need to talk about is uh, how the exams or the examination papers for mathematics are structured. That is both paper one and paper two. So, like I mentioned, for mathematics, you sit for two papers. Paper one and paper two. So now, I'll start with paper one, then go to paper two. What is it that you need to know about paper one? Um, what you need to know is, paper one, has got 23 questions. So when you check here, you have the first question here, second up to the last question here, which is the question 23. Okay? And the way the questions are written, they are written in such a manner that you are given adequate spaces where you need to show your calculations. Then at the end here, you put your answer. So if there is some space here, you put your answer. Okay? Then, Again, you need to know that, or take note, that um, that um, with paper one, you put all your details there. You write your name there, your center number where you've registered, and your examination number. All right, but uh, sometimes. The, the, num, uh, the name may not be needed. They will ask you just to write your exam number, like the case was this year. Okay, so you put your details there. Then you are going to submit. Uh, actually, the case was, uh, I think, in 2020. All right? So you submit this paper to the invigilator. All right? But like I indicated, you see that there are some spaces that are left for you to do your calculations to write the answer. So you have one, two, all the way up to 20. 23. Okay? So there will be enough space that will be left for you. Then you do your calculations and write the answer. So, like we said, uh, this paper has got 80 marks. I'm sure you are able to see. 80 marks. The time in which you are supposed to write uh, this exam is 2 hours. What that means is that within 2 hours you are supposed to conclude, do everything. And again, you need to note that calculators are not needed. That is why we are presenting holistic lessons so that you don't just memorize, all right, but you know what to do so that when that time comes in August, you are able to manipulate these things. Okay, so that's what you do for paper one. I hope that is okay. Then we go to paper two. Maybe before we go to paper two, I need to make mention of the fact that for paper one, we... Normally said all the qu uh, topics, questions come from all the topics, I think so far, apart from uh, statistics. But that is not to say it may not come, all right? So you need to know that all the topics are represented here. So for you to survive, you need to do all the topics. Then you'll have made your, your job easy. Okay. I think that is okay for paper one. Then we go to paper two. Paper two, we have got two sections. 
Section A, which is 52 marks. And we have section e, B. Now, for section A, we have these topics. Okay? In matrices, says probability quadratic equations. Then construction and loci, computers, vectors. Okay? Vectors. So, vectors. Then we have uh, algebra. Then uh, mensulation or calculus. Sometimes they alternate. They give you mensulation, then maybe you may not have a question on calculus. If they give you calculus, you may not have questions on it. Uh, mensulation. But what you need to know, uh, take note of is when you are dealing with paper 2, section A, it is compulsory. You must answer all the questions. If you are going to leave out any question, then you will have lost those marks. Alright? For that respective question. So you must answer all the questions. That is for paper 2, section A. Okay. Then when you go to section B, you are dealing with the 48 marks. You only need to answer four questions out of the six that are given. Okay? Where do these four questions come from? They come from these topics that we have listed here. Graphs of functions or cubic functions, trigonometry, linear programming, transformation, statistics, you have earthy geometry or slash I mean, menstruation, then you also have calculus. So, before you sit for these exams, be in a position to say, okay, maybe I might be able to pick these topics. But that is not to say you ignore the other uh, topics because you may never know how the, 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 uh, the, the exam or the questions will be uh, put, all right? So if you just have four, exactly, you might be disadvantaged if one of them was a bit tricky. So make sure that you have... Uh, um, a wider spectrum of topics that you are going to you are going to answer in the exam and we are saying each topic or each question that you are going to get will give you 12 marks when you multiply 12 by 4 you get 48 marks that is for paper 2 so section B you need to choose four questions out of the possible six okay let me just take you through paper 2 briefly so, this was for GCE last year. Right? So, you have section A, which is 52 marks. This is what we have been talking about. These are the topics that are represented there. Okay? These are some of the topics that are represented there. Okay? All right? This is what we are talking about. Okay? This is what we are talking about. Alright? If you look at uh, section B, we are saying section B, we have uh, 48 marks. We are saying answer any four questions in this section. So you have one, question one here, which has these questions. Then you have two you have three, you have four, uh, five, and the six. So there are six there, and you only pick uh, four questions. Okay? Then for section uh, for paper two, there is always a separate answer booklet that is provided to you. That is where you're supposed to put all your details as well as all your answers and or solutions. Okay? I hope this presentation has helped you to be in a position to sit for these exams without challenges. Okay, I hope that is clear. So, if you have enjoyed our presentations, please... Okay, so, yeah, I hope it's okay. So, if you need more information, you can contact us on the numbers that are appearing in these videos that we have been presenting. 
Or if you are in Osaka and you want to get more information, you can come to Nyumbanga Secondary School. That is where we are, we are found. Okay. But don't you worry, even if you are not in Osaka, we, we can communicate. We have a lot of platforms that we can use to communicate. Uh, WhatsApp, uh, maybe uh, email, so on and so forth. We are there to provide the best because we believe that it is the only the best that is good enough. Okay, so I can assure you that you are safe in our hands. Okay, so please subscribe to this channel. Keep on watching as we keep on uploading more videos. Thank you so much and may the good Lord bless you all. Thank you.